What's up you guys? I want to go through and make a quick video for you on this 2019 Nissan Qashqai SL and kind of the interior and the uh, the instrument display, the cluster here mostly. Um, just because people will get like super confused about what it can do, what it can't do, all that kind of stuff. So uh, let's go through this. Um, so first of all, this is a regular display. You get outside temperature. It's a beautiful 24 degrees Celsius right now. Your time up there. Um, this is where your cruise control will be displayed. And then because this is an SL, it does have the Pro Pilot. Um, so this is the semi-autonomous driving. So this is telling me that that is uh, functional. And that little button that looks like a steering wheel is the steering assist um, that once we have the cruise control turned on, um, we can activate that if we want. Then this main screen, I've got it on, just has kind of an icon of the vehicle. You can see down there, that is the park uh, gear that we are in right now. If I change that gear, um, you'll see that change. And then we've got approximately 261 kilometers uh, left to empty. We've been doing mostly city driving as there's only nine kilometers in this vehicle, and that's half a tank. So really, this car not broken at all. Uh, it says it'll get about just over 500 kilometers in town. That's pretty wicked fuel mileage. Um, not a big tank on these guys. Um, so I'm just gonna show you, there are some arrows on this side. These are how you control that screen there. And then this is volume controls and stereo controls. And that's a back button to get out of those menus. Um, so let's just push over. When I press over, bam, we're gonna go through some screens. So I've got all the screens turned on right now, but you can turn them off um, individually and I'll show you where you can do that. So the next screen here is average speed. This is not a digital speedometer. People always are like, does this have digital speedometer? Sorry, one feature they didn't do. Um, why, I don't know, they should maybe, but uh, they don't, but you do have average speed. Next one over, um, you have trip, so you can look at your trip information. Uh, fuel economy, so this is a live readout with a sliding bar graph and an average. Um, a compass, uh, audio, so depending on the source, things that you have on there. Now I can press the OK button here, and that is going to um, toggle between what we have going on for source. I'm just gonna turn that off again. Um, press over, this is our intelligent cruise control and our steering assist setups. So this is really cool. Um, this basically, there is a cruise control function right here, and that's the distance you're gonna follow the vehicle. So if I press that, those lines will sh change from shorter to longer for how close or far you're gonna follow somebody with cruise control on. Uh, and then if I press the OK button, you can go into the steering assist function, whether it's turned on, whether the emergency brake is on, the vehicle has lane departure and lane uh, warning system and blind spot system, so a lot of driving aids. Um, I'm gonna press over again, we're going to the next menu. Um, again, this will bring us back into the uh, another kind of safety, but this is not to do with that previous screen where it's more about the cruise control. This one's just about your driving aids. Another one, tire pressures, as we're driving they'll display. Um, this one lets you know how your 4x4 system is working, so this is a all-wheel drive. Um, tells you right now it's front-wheel drive, but as we started going, it might shift some power to the back, and you can see that happen in real time, kind of cool. Um, next one, chassis control. So Nissan has this really cool um, technology called chassis control. Uh, it helps the vehicle drive, illuminates a little bit of body roll, and really makes uh, this vehicle drive amazing. I mean, the handling on these is awesome. Um, next system, just any warnings, like if we got lower washer fluid or anything like that. Uh, next screen is our settings menu. So I'm just gonna go through them quickly. If I press driver assistance, show us our driving aids, parking aids, uh, tell you about chassis control, whether that's turned on or off, and power steering, uh, you know, uh, you can either have normal or sport in power steering chassis control So if you want to see what this vehicle drives like without these systems on you can turn off engine brake or trace control And it drives completely different going into the corners and stuff like that. Um, I actually encourage you just to try it out uh, Parking aids you can go in so the vehicle has moving object detection with the video cameras Cross traffic when you're backing up whether or not that's gonna send somebody coming from the sides a rear sonar system um, whether it's going to display, come up when it senses things or not, how loud it's going to be, and how close before it detects things. So you can go into all that stuff. Um, driving aids, again, back to that menu. We were able to access this menu multiple ways. So steering assist, emergency braking, lane departure, uh, warning, and blind spot. Um, so let's go back out of there. You can go in and set up your clock. Meter settings. So this is the one where you can go in and you can change a bunch of things how this looks. So main menu selection, we can go in and turn on or off all these functions. Um, body color, you can go and pick the color of the car you're driving. Um, eco mode settings, so how it reports the different fuel efficiency, uh, a report on fuel efficiency, and then whether or not it welcomes you when you start up the car. 
Um, going down, you can go into vehicle settings. Um, so you can go into your lighting, turn on the sensitivity for the lighting, turn indicators, you can play with how they go on and off, how the locks work. Uh, how the wipers work, um, whether remote start is on, and then rear door alert. A lot of people don't know what this is. So rear door alert is, if you have this function turned on, it's a beautiful feature. Um, as soon as you open the door, the rear door is gonna let you know you have put something in the back. Shut the car off, it's gonna say, hey, check the rear seat. I mean, that could be a kid, worst case scenario, you don't wanna leave your kid in the car, or something as simple as, uh, you know, the milk you just picked up at the grocery store, you just don't want it to get hot and spoil. So, uh, you know, it lets you know something's in the back. Awesome feature. Um, Going back to the previous menu, and again, anytime I need to go back, I just hit this button right here. Um, you can see we've got a maintenance alert, so we can go in and set up some maintenances for oil filter tire and others. Uh, and then alarm, we can go in and set up alarms, whether the navigation, phone, mail, or a timer system is going to give us a little alarm. Um, down there, we can check in the prior pressures, whether we want PSI or kilopascals. Um, and then units, again, whether we want metric um, or standard for the mileage, tire pressures, and temperature. Really cool that it lets you individually set this because like for me, I like my tire pressures in PSI, but I obviously want my mileage in kilometers because I'm in Canada. So it just depends what you like. Um, language, so you can go in and set your language preference. And that is kind of everything from there. Um, back to the first screen I showed you. So that's all those screens in there. Um, you know, uh, the other little things I'll just show you here. So this is your lights control. Um, you've got your automatic lights. Uh, you've got your um, just regular keep your lights on, parking lights and turn your lights off. Uh, and then this has the uh, fog lights. Because this is an SL, this also has high beam assist. So if we turn on our high beams, um, the vehicle will uh, automatically turn the high beams off. We actually don't need to toggle that on or off, which is kind of cool. Um, down here, that is a plus and minus for turning the interior lights on brighter or dimmer. So if you want them brighter or dimmer at night. And then trip reset for your odometer. Down here, what are all these buttons? This is a stability control program, so it keeps you from skidding around. If you want to like pull a donut or something, you turn that off. Uh, that is steering assist, so whether the vehicle will help you steer around corners. Um, heated steering wheel, a uh, beautiful feature for cold mornings. All-wheel drive, now all-wheel drive is always on on this vehicle, um, but you can lock it into a full-time position. It's a limited slip, so if you go too fast, it'll actually disengage. Um, it's also not the greatest to drive around in at high speeds because uh, the vehicle acts a little bit more um, rear-wheel drive unpredictable, so um, just use that if you're really stuck. Eco, what is eco? Well, if we press eco, uh, a little eco indicator is gonna come up, and anytime I start driving a little more assertively, uh, that might go out because it'll say I'm not getting the best mileage. Um, so it's just an indicator letting you know whether you're getting the best economy. Um, I'm not gonna go through all the rest of the features, but that is a quick just demonstration of how all that works. All right, guys, have a great day.